Hey everybody, my name is Neil Reynolds. I'm the senior minister at the University Church of Christ in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and also the Pathways Director for Cairo's Church Planting, and I want to welcome you back to Spring Surge and Easter to Remember, and we're talking about your messaging or your preaching today. And there's four things that I want to cover with you, and here they are. The first one is beginning with the end in mind. The second is stacking dominoes for maximum impact. The third is choosing your messaging strategically, and then fourth is putting in the time. So that first one, begin with the end in mind. It's a Stephen Covey quote. Begin with the end in mind. And the whole idea is that you begin anything that you're doing with the end that you're trying to create. And then from there, you reverse engineer it in order to get to that end. And this is the whole idea behind Spring Surge. It's that when you look at the calendar, when you look at your yearly calendar, we know that there are two big days for almost all churches universally, and those are Easter and Christmas. And one that you may not think of is that big of a day is the third most attended day in America when it comes to church, and that is Mother's Day, which comes on the heels of Easter. And so when you look at your calendar, you have this incredible opportunity to reach people in the spring of the year. And that's what this is all about. That's what the end is. It's reaching people with the good news about Jesus, helping them to love God, love people, and make disciples. And so when you look at the calendar, you're beginning with this end in mind, and you're looking at and you're thinking about your messaging. We have this incredible opportunity to reach people in the spring of the year. So how you do your messaging, how you plan your preaching, is going to be affected by that end that you have in mind of reaching people. And then when you look at that calendar, you see this surge, this opportunity to reach people in a way that maybe you don't have opportunity to throughout the rest of the year. So you want to begin with the end in mind as it relates to your preaching. And then second, you want to stack dominoes in order to make maximum impact. And so when I talk about stacking dominoes, I mean you want to think about Mother's Day when you begin your preaching in January. And what you're doing with your people will be affected by the end that you have in mind. In this case, we're hoping to reap a harvest on Mother's Day. We're hoping that people will make decisions to follow Christ, that people will be baptized on Mother's Day. And so you might think about leading up to Easter, teaching on sharing faith, teaching on evangelism in order to help your people understand what's going on in this incredible opportunity that you have as a church to reach people. So you're planning your messaging to make sure that you're helping them understand the opportunity that you have. And then maybe from Easter, you plan your messaging to help people make a decision to follow Jesus on Mother's Day. So you may do some apologetics or you may talk about some of the basics of the faith in your preaching, your teaching, or you may just do something that's Christ-centered, something about discipleship, maybe exploring some of the claims of Jesus, what's required of me in order to follow Jesus. And so what you're doing when you stack those dominoes is you're hoping that you'll be able to make a maximum impact when you go to ask people to commit their lives to Christ on that day, on Mother's Day. So think about all those messages that you preach starting in January and leading up to Easter, and then from Easter to Mother's Day. Those are dominoes that you stack, and you're working toward this end that you have in mind, and then you hope that those dominoes will all fall for maximum impact on that day in May when hopefully people are going to give their lives to Christ. And so here's the third thing you want to do. You want to choose your messaging strategically. This is related to beginning with the end in mind and stacking dominoes, but you have this incredible opportunity in the spring, as we've said, and so you want to leverage that moment in hopes of reaching people. You're probably not going to plan your most high-impact messages for weekends like Memorial Day, for weekends like Labor Day. These are times when you know that many people will be traveling, when many people will be out, but yet you know that there are going to be some weekends throughout the year where people will be 
present. And they'll be present in larger numbers than what you might suspect. And Easter and Mother's Day are a couple of those weekends. So you want to plan those message series strategically. And you also think about the kinds of people who are going to be there on Easter. There will be many people who are there with friends or there with family. And maybe they're people who are Christians in name only. And you have this opportunity this maybe once a year opportunity to present them with the claims of Jesus. And so you want to plan your messaging strategically. You don't want to plan the most high impact, the most seeker sensitive or most guest sensitive message you have for Memorial Day weekend, because that will most likely miss the mark. But the weeks leading up to Easter and then Easter itself, there's a good chance that there will be guests there. There's a good chance that there will be someone there who's not a believer. And if you can follow up with them and maybe even lead them to Christ in the weeks ahead. So think strategically about your messaging and think strategically about your preaching. And here's the, the fourth thing that I'll say. Um, put in the time. Put in the time. It's really interesting to think about because there's been so much discussion in churches and I guess to some extent, this has always been there. There's always been a lot of discussion about worship style, and churches have argued about this. But according to Pew Research, I saw just a couple of years ago on the heels of Easter, that Pew discovered that the thing that people use to determine why they attend a church is the preaching. It's actually the teaching. So we argue a lot about worship style, but the teaching is the main determining factor in why people stick in a church. And in most cases, I'm going to guess that the teaching or the preaching component is going to be the most significant component in your Easter service. And so you need to put in the time to make sure that it's great. I love what Hal Seed said. He said that great teaching series aren't put together six days in advance, they're put together six months in advance. So I think the farther that you can get ahead of this, the better it will be. The longer your messages can sit in the crock pot, so to speak, the better they'll be when you go to feed your people on Sunday morning. So think about the time that you can put in, blocking off times in your calendar to be able to spend time in God's Word, to spend time in study, preparing to do everything you can to make Sunday great. It's easy to get caught up in the tyranny of the urgent. And sure, Sunday's message, it feels more urgent as the week progresses. It may not feel as urgent on Monday morning or your Easter message. It may not feel as urgent two months out. It may not feel as urgent a month out. But the longer you spend on that, the more time that you put into that to make your messaging great, the illustrations, the bottom lines, the deep dive into the text as you feed people from the Word, the more time you put in, the better it's going to be. And so make sure that you put in the time when it comes to your messaging. So there are those four things that I wanted to bring to you today. Begin with the end in mind. Make sure that you're thinking about this opportunity that you have from Easter to Mother's Day. And then stack dominoes for maximum impact. Think about where you're taking people. You want to preach like a leader. You're taking people somewhere and you're going to be able to push those dominoes down at some point in the future for maximum impact. Choose your messaging strategically. Think about those times of the year where you can have high impact and think about who will be there, who won't be there, and plan your messaging accordingly. And then fourth, put in the time. Put in the time to make it great. Put in the time to make it great. We're praying for you to have an Easter to remember. Thanks for being a part of Spring Surge. Again, we're praying for a great Easter for you. Mm -hmm.